In mathematics, specifically order theory, a well quasi-ordering or WQO is a quasi-ordering such that any infinite sequence of elements from contains an increasing pair with motivation. Well-founded induction can be used on any set with a well-founded relation, thus one is interested in when a quasi-order is well-founded. However the class of well-founded quasi-orders is not closed under certain operations, that is, when a quasi-order is used to obtain a new quasi-order on a set of structures derived from our original set. This quasi-order is found to be not well-founded. By placing stronger restrictions on the original well-founded quasi-ordering one can hope to ensure that our derived quasi-orderings are still well-founded. An example of this is the power set operation. Given a quasi-ordering for a set one can define a quasi-order on S power set by setting if and only if for each element of one can find some element of which is larger than it under. One can show that this quasi-ordering on needn't be well-founded, but if one takes the original quasi-ordering to be a well quasi-ordering, then it is. Formal definition. A well quasi-ordering on a set is a quasi-ordering such that any infinite sequence of elements from contains an increasing pair with less than. The set is said to be well quasi-ordered, or shortly WQO. A well partial order, or a WPO, is a WQO that is a proper ordering relation, i.e., it is anti-symmetric. Among other ways of defining WQOs, one is to say that they are quasi-orderings which do not contain infinite strictly decreasing sequences nor infinite sequences of pairwise, incomparable elements. Hence a quasi-order is WQO if and only if it is well-founded and has no infinite anti-chains. Examples The set of natural numbers with standard ordering is a well-partial order. However, the set of positive and negative integers is not a well quasi-order, because it is not well founded. The set of natural numbers ordered by divisibility is not a well partial order. The prime numbers are an infinite anti-chain. The set of vectors of natural numbers with component-wise ordering is a well partial order. More generally, if is well quasi-order, then is also a well quasi-order for all. Let be an arbitrary finite set with at least two elements. The set of words overordered lexicographically is not a well quasi-order because it contains the infinite decreasing sequence. Similarly, ordered by the prefix relation is not a well quasi-order, because the previous sequence is an infinite anti-chain of this partial order. However, ordered by the subsequence relation is a well partial order. More generally, the set of finite sequences ordered by embedding is a well quasi-order if and only if is a well quasi-order. Recall that one embeds a sequence into a sequence by finding a subsequence of that has the same length as and that dominates it term by term. When is a finite unordered set, if and only if is a subsequence of the set of infinite sequences over a well quasi-order, ordered by embedding, is not a well quasi-order in general. That is, Higman's lemma does not carry over to infinite sequences. Better quasi-orderings have been introduced to generalize Higman's lemma to sequences of arbitrary lengths. Embedding between finite trees with nodes labeled by elements of a WQO is a WQO. Embedding between infinite trees with nodes labeled by elements of a WQO is a WQO. Embedding between countable scattered linear order types is a well quasi-order. Embedding between countable Boolean algebras is a well quasi-order. This follows from Laver's theorem and a theorem of Ketonen. Finite graphs ordered by a notion of embedding called graph minor is a well quasi-order. Graphs of finite tree depth ordered by the induced subgraph relation form a well quasi-order, as do the graphs ordered by induced subgraphs. WQOs versus well partial orders. In practice, the WQOs one manipulates are quite often not orderings, and the theory is technically smoother if we do not require anti-symmetry. 
so it is built with WQOs as the basic notion. Observe that a WPO is a WQO, and that a WQO gives rise to a WPO between equivalence classes induced by the kernel of the WQO. For example, if we order by divisibility, we end up with if and only if, so that infinite increasing subsequences. If is WQO then every infinite sequence contains an infinite increasing subsequence. Such a subsequence is sometimes called perfect. This can be proved by a Ramsey argument. Given some sequence, consider the set of indexes such that has no larger or equal to its right, i.e., with, if is infinite, then the extracted subsequence contradicts the assumption that is WQO, so is finite, and any with larger than any indexing can be used as the starting point of an infinite increasing subsequence. The existence of such infinite increasing subsequences is sometimes taken as a definition for well quasi-ordering, leading to an equivalent notion. Properties of WQOs Given a quasi-ordering the quasi-ordering defined by is well-founded if and only if is a WQO. A quasi-ordering is a WQO if and only if the corresponding partial order has no infinite descending sequences or anti-chains. Given a well quasi-ordering, any sequence of subsets such that eventually stabilizes. Assuming the contrary, a contradiction is reached by extracting an infinite non-ascending subsequence. Given a well quasi-ordering, any subset which is upward closed with respect to has a finite number of minimal elements W, R, T. For otherwise the minimal elements of would constitute an infinite anti-chain.